Rocket official introduction that by the fight and out of the blue corner way near 69.1. He's 21, stands 5'8. He fights out of Santa's boxing and hills from Brighouse, Aiden, the Spartan Tomlinson. And with the ball in the fight and out of the left corner way near 69.1. He's 19, stands 5'10. He fights out of Ostaf boxing and hills from Leeds, C. Good afternoon, fight fans, and welcome to Nico Fight Night here at the Atna venue in Huddersfield. The next fight is a 70 kilogram boxing bout sponsored by Huddersfield Sheet Metal. In the blue corner, we've got Aidan Tomlinson from Sanctus Boxing taking on Zane Aslam from Osters Boxing in the red corner. I'm Harry Strutt beside me, Saif Khan. Hello, Saif. Harry, always a pleasure to be uh, next to you, my friend, commentating. This is, looks like it's going to be a really good boxing match between two good fighters here. Yeah, Aiden with the white and blue shorts, Aslam with the black trim white shorts. Both these guys coming from excellent gyms. They were already coming out composed, looking strong and technically good. And it's another three round burner. Yeah. And they both got that similar sort of technique where it's in, out, getting the, the, the shots going and moving back and kind of getting to know each other a little bit. Yeah. Zane seems to like to throw a bit of paint there just to gauge and see how he reacts to it. Aiden with some head movement moving backwards. It's Zane changing levels, just leaving that jab out. Zane looks sharp. Yeah, Zane sharp. He's got, he's got his hand down a little bit, but he's got enough speed to keep away. Whereas Aiden's still doing a bit of peekaboo, which is, it seems to work for him to keep his guard up. Yeah. A double jab, closing the distance, then just missed it with the right hand. Beautiful level change to that right hand in the body. Good control there by Zane, isn't it, Harry? Yeah, it's same again. Hit him in the body, then this time he came up with a left up to the head, but fortunately missed it. Like you said, Zane's got the level change, but his eyes are just piercing on him all the way through. He's staring me out, and I'm right down here. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot to stare you out, brother <laughs> Harry. <laughs> uh. Beautiful, beautiful boxing to watch that, Harry. Yeah. Yeah, his opponent were coming in, he moved out of it and then just slipped down, closed the distance, held him to separate. Same again, body shot and then up to the head. Beautiful control first round there, Harry, between them both. Yeah, like I say, a very similar style. It seemed to be uh, Zane that's got the longer reach and it's the level change that's working really well from him. That level change and that uh, shot to the body, uh, he just seems to be sneaking it in behind the jab, works really well. Again, now it's back to the coaches. They'll be saying now uh, all the stuff that worked in practice, what they need to change for round number two. Yeah, and I think things might change if Aiden comes out and opens up a little bit. You know, we don't know what the game plan is, so that might have been the game plan. A bit of pickable, kind of gauge the distance and then take it from there. They both seem really composed, don't they, in the corner, Harry? They do, they're listening to instructions. He's holding, uh, he's holding his nose. I'm just wondering what's up. Both guys coming out. Fresh as they did in round number one, which is nice to see. Well, it looks like they've got quite a bit of boxing experience, and if they have three two-minute rounds, won't seem that much for them, Harry, would it? No, it means they can uh, they can commit and play the game they want to, rather than trying to ride it out. This time it's uh, Aidan Tomlinson closing. The, well, sorry, holding on tight there. Beautiful one-two to the body and then a jab to the face there from Zane. Yeah, Zane looks like he's stepped it up again now. He seems to have just gone, uh, stepped up the speed. Nice left-hand counter, then moves out. Again, That's changes levels, that, Harry, back out. Beautiful, that. good movement. Changing as that, he just completely evaded that, uh, that double jab cross like it didn't even exist. And, and then he's back in the game with his own shots. Seems to be really frustrating, Aiden, now. Yeah. And that's when you start making mistakes, when you start rushing in and you get caught. Beautiful control by Zane all the way through this round so far. And he's mixing it up, like you said, Harry, he's going up, he's going down as well, hitting the body. Just an awful person to fight against. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And he's got that wide stance so he can flick back if he needs to and back in right quite. Yeah. He's readily throwing that jab, then just changing levels. He did well then to move out a corner. Aiden tried chasing him down, but Zane was just too smart and he worked his way out at corner, taking centre at ring again. He did, but he's still got that distance. He knows the gauge and he knows when to attack. Beautiful double jab there, Harry. Aiden with right hand, but then he closes up. It's very sharp, it's Zane, and with his boxing there, Harry. It's nice. Aiden with a big punches, but he's chasing him down. He tried chasing him down. He didn't manage to land anything big on him, but he closed the distance. There was a sprinkle of frustration there from Aiden, Harry. Yeah, 100%. He seems to be running in with those big hooks, and he needs to be careful, because as we've seen from Zane so far, he's got them lovely streets to the body. And we're limited to three rounds here, Harry, so if anything's going to happen, Aiden's going to really have to pull out the bag here and speed it up. So, in your, uh, in your opinion, then, Aiden, to me, I think he's probably two rounds uh, down. What yeah, yeah, in my opinion. Him, as a coach, what would you be telling him in this round? That peekaboo style isn't really working for him. He's either got to go in and fluster him really hard and put that pressure on him, or step away and keep going in, just keep stepping and going, rather than just staying there and doing that peekaboo style because it's not really working. He's done it for two rounds and he hasn't worked. He's in the last round now. Yeah, I agree. I think this is, uh, he needs to do something different. He needs to go hell for lever and start throwing down. Here we are, guys. Nico fight night Both at the Outdoor Venue. Them. Both looking fresh, Harry. Oh, yeah, like I say, three two-minute rounds for these uh, these guys all day. Aiden's yes. doing it. He's, uh, he's going in. There's a degree of urgency there, Harry. Zane's very clever in the way that he just ducks out of trouble. And now he's putting on his own pressure. Beautiful spin that Harry, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's lovely to watch. He, uh, like I say, he knew that he was going to be coming in with some big hooks and he just spun out of it. Nice jab counter there. Just puts him back at that distance, back at arm's reach, so then he can, uh, well, he's out of danger again. And again, in the centre of the ring, it gives him room to move around as well. I think Aiden needs some monster uppercuts, so when he closes the distance, he can try and fire the head back up. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's it. He keeps blindly throwing the big hooks to the head, but it's not getting anywhere. Aiden's first two rounds were nice and crisp, but on this one, because of that urgency, it's kind of getting yeah. a bit clumsy and loose, and, and that can leave you open, Harry, right? Not long left now, round number three. Beautiful turnout, and then fire. He's still got the bounce on him, brother. He's still got the bounce as, uh, as he... You can hear the uh, urgency in his corner team's voice of, uh, of Aiden now saying, you need to work. Well, they may be of the same opinion as us, Harry, that it's uh, looking like it's looking against for Aiden. Yeah. But it, like I say, it's... Um, Zane is a very awkward guy to fight. The angles that he keeps coming out at, it's hard to get a punch off. And he's worked that fantastically. He has. He's done really well all three rounds. All three judges score this in favour of your winner. In the red corner.